Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we're going to be playing with the Falcon F-16 V5 with the SRX-1 long-range receiver in traditional mode. But before we get started, please give the uh, video a like and subscribe to our channel. That helps us out. Thanks. Okay, so the setup today, uh, and I just have it in a test pattern here so we can uh, see it easily. But today I have the F-16 V5 right the latest and greatest from falcon christmas uh and what i have is i have one two three four falcon srx one long range receivers set up in traditional mode right or is it standard mode i think it's traditional mode but anyway what that means is the little selector dial there is pointing at zero so basically i am not chaining so each one of these is hooked up to one of these four receiver ports. So this receiver port is 17 to 20. This one is 21 to 24. And then the black one is 25 to 28. And the last one is 29 to 32. And then on port 16 here, I have 200 pixels just so that I have that as a baseline. Um, and then I have uh, 200 pixels running off of each of the four ports of the long range receiver boards. See that? And they're doing their the alternate pattern there, They're all nice and pretty. But that is the general setup that uh, we're playing with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm going to configure, I'm gonna erase what's there. And then I'm going to reconfigure the Falcon F-16 V5. All right, so just in case anybody cares, um, this is my very basic setup here. And I'm doing this just to test out some lights, basically. So I have my PC that is on the IP address 10.0.0.250 with a 24-bit net mask. And then my Falcon F-16 V5, I have at 10.0.0.9 and they're connected via Ethernet through a switch. So this is the setup. I have my computer connected via Ethernet to the Ethernet port, one of the two Ethernet ports on the F-16 V5. And then I have four SRX-1 V5 boards connected to the four receiver ports of the Falcon. And each one of those has four pixel ports. And I have set the little dial to zero on each one uh, because I'm not chaining, which uh, that means I'm doing this in traditional mode. Okay, <clears throat> so let me go to, okay, here we're logged into the Falcon F16 V5 controller. Uh, and I'm setting this up manually. Ideally, you would let X lights do all of this for you, but this, I'm doing a test network or just some testing for the lights. So doing it from here, and you get to see how it's done directly from the Falcon. So under E131 is where I define my universes, and I have 50 universes. I just threw in a big number, so I knew I would have plenty. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I go to Output Settings, Pixel. And so here I have all of my ports. So... 17 through 32 represent my smart receivers. So I'm going to go in here and put my pixel count. So they have 200. Now if I hit F3, it'll carry that to the next port. And I have 200 pixels on each of these. right? So these first four ports represent the first SRX1 that I have connected onto the little port that's the receiver port that's labeled 17 to 20. This one is my second SRX board and so on. Okay, now I'm also gonna go up here to port 16. I'm gonna change this to 200 because I happen to have 200 pixels hanging off that port as well. All right, now I hit save. And if I go to test, and let's do, color wash enable well let's first let me turn these guys off because there's nothing on these it would work but I just want to make sure that 
people can see I got nothing up my sleeve. See all the others. And we'll turn off the DMX port too. And Nimble. See, and there they are doing their color wash thing just like we told them to. Okay. Give you a nice little close up of the boards themselves. And they all have their own connection going back into the controller. So this is four SRX boards connected traditionally to the Falcon F16 V5. And traditional just means they're not chained. There's no chaining going on. With the Falcon F16 V5. But before we get started, please give the tab, 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 tab.